All right, we're going to talk about how to use the H67, our anterior sickle instrument. The first thing you want to do is establish the correct working end. This one's tricky, because look, they look the same. <laughs> They're so, so close to each other. So one thing you can do is you can memorize the numbers. So your away surfaces will be the number six. See that? Away. Another way to remember this is this elbow. See this elbow right here? This elbow is pointing away. So away, four away, six. If I flip this for the towards for seven, this is your towards on seven. We'll be sitting at nine o'clock. I'm just showing this to you. Don't get worried. Okay. Another thing I tell people is it just feels right. But when you're starting out working with this instrument, it's really frustrating to hear, it just feels right. So start with memorizing the numbers or memorizing the elbow. The elbow point will point your way. So what you'll want to do here is that now I'm going to be instrumenting on the away surface here. Remember, find the correct working end. This is pointing towards, that's not it. This is pointing away, so that is it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the get ready zone. I'm going to place the instrument inside of the sulcus where the calculus lives to, for effective removal. I've got my fulcrum, I've got my modified pen grasp, making sure I'm not flexing where I shouldn't be. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go up, down, turn. Up, down, turn. Up, down, turn. Up, down, turn up, down, turn, up, down, turn. When I feel a piece of calculus, I'm gonna put lateral pressure and do a wrist activation, calculus removal stroke, and just chip that piece of calculus off using just the last two millimeters of the instrument. I'm just using that very, very end. 